everyone. Welcome to the first Behind the Curtains feature at the Grumman Center for the Arts. Today, we're going to learn a little bit about the ghost light. I'm sure many of you have heard that theaters leave lights on overnight, but do you know why or how it became a time-honored tradition? Well, today, our Assistant Director of Operations and Production, Michelle Youngs, is going to tell you a little bit about it. There are many theories as to how the tradition of the ghost light originated. What we do know for sure is that the stage crew of nearly every theater in the world puts a light on the stage before going home at the end of each night. It shines on the dark stage when the theater is unoccupied and is a constant reminder of theater's rich history. Theater scholars believe that the beginnings of the ghost light comes from the days of gaslit theaters. Before electricity was invented, theaters used dimly lit gas lights to prevent pressure from building up in the gas lines, thus preventing an explosion. Hundreds of theaters burned down in the 1800s because of this, and people started believing that a ghost light should be left burning to keep the theater ghosts happy. Thank goodness for the invention of the electric light bulb. In the modern world, some people insist that a light is simply on stage for safety. It allows people who are working late to see where they are going so they don't fall off the stage or bump into set pieces. Others believe that it is there to chase away the mischievous spirits that are thought to inhabit most theaters. And some people argue that the theater ghosts were former actors. The ghost light keeps the ghosts happy by allowing them to perform on the stage when it is empty. The Grunin Center actually has two ghost lights on stage. They are named Arthur and Barry, two of the people who helped start the OCC Rep Theater back in the late 1960s. Arthur and Barry are still with us and enjoy coming back to the Grunin Center to watch the many shows that take place on the Grunin stage. They will always be part of the history of the Grunin Center, and it's nice to know they will always watch out for us. And there you have it. While not everyone believes in the history of the ghost light, it's still a respected tradition. Most theaters leave a light on, and it's a wonderful symbol that unites us all. Stay safe, everyone.